Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. going on peeps hopefully you guys had a good holiday weekend we're back monday and we're back complaining that's the way to do it i think um a lot of people are frustrated with what the wayne casey's rotations are as seku demboya has still yet to receive minutes for some reason the knicks just have our number we can't do anything about them our game plan for them is terrible. They are a great defensive team, and we keep coming at them the same offensively without changing any of our game plan, methods, or anything along those lines. For some, so some reason, Dwayne Casey just gets outcoached by the Knicks and just can't do anything. Whatever, right? We're down 30-plus points. Whatever it was, Seku Dumboya is yet to touch the court. And it's not just Seku. It's also Davida Servitas. He got a little taste, and he's been getting a little taste here and there, especially in blowouts when we're not going to win. Why aren't those two guys playing more? I understand we got Sadiq Bey. I understand we got Jeremy Grant. Now we got Diallo. Now we got Josh Jackson. All wonderful players. I'm thankful they're on my team. But not to find any minutes at all for Seku? Ridiculous. Unexcusable. And a lot of you guys from my post last night are saying he's garbage. How do you know? How do you know? You haven't seen enough of him yet. You haven't seen enough. And that's my one argument against you. Is you just haven't seen him play enough. He hasn't played a full season yet. How do you know he's ass? How do you know he's garbage? You don't. I don't know if he's good. All I want is a sample of... So that way, as a fan base, we have enough, enough samples to determine if he's good or if he's not. Because if you're not going to play him, just trade him. Get him off the team. If you're not going to give him opportunity, why waste a roster spot on a guy you're not going to play or give an opportunity to? Hmm? Simple and play as that. If you're not going to play him, get him off the team. Let him go to San Antonio. Let him go to Dallas. Let him go to a team that's actually going to play him. And then you guys are going to be like, wow, I can't believe we traded him. He's another Chris Middleton, another Spencer Didwitty. But you guys are too impatient, and you don't want to wait. You want guys who come in out of the draft and are just NBA ready. You guys have to realize, Seku, he's only been playing basketball since he's been 16. He's 20. That's four years. He can't even drink yet. Here. And you're already to give up on him. He hasn't even played 82 games yet. Be patient with him. But for Dwayne Casey not to give this guy minutes is unexcusable. He's still one of the youngest players in the league. In the league. You have to stay patient, man. You guys are just all worked up on this just social media stuff where... You want to post something controversial and get likes. And you don't watch the game. You look at the box scores. When you watch Seku play good, there's potential there. In order to get to that potential, you have to play. You have to have some rough stretches. You're going to have terrible games where your plus minus is not very good. Where all these analytical guys are going to be like, this guy's not very good. There's a reason I don't talk about analytics. It's, they don't show everything. They don't show progress. They don't show development. And at this rate, Seku's not going to develop because he's not getting any playing time. I thought after Blake Griffin got traded, they would give Seku some, some good minutes. Dwayne Casey said very, very early in this year that the bench was going to go to Derrick Rose and Seku Nomboya. And Dwayne Casey's a liar because Derrick Rose is no longer on this team. And we have barely seen Seku play meaningful minutes all year long. He's been getting five minutes here, six minutes there, seven minutes there, two minutes here. It's, it's ridiculous. It's old. All I want is Seku to play 10 to 15 minutes a night. And that's not even asking for that much. 
It's enough for him to get his feet wet in the NBA, not having to do too much, playing with Killian Hayes. Him and Killian are going to work well together because they know how to play together. Simple and plain as that. And for Savitas, man, the little minutes he's been getting, he's been shooting threes at a very good ratio. Why is he not playing more? Play him at the two. But we want to keep playing Wang Ellington, who has no future with this team. We want to play Rodney McGriddle, who has no future with this team. Play Servitas. What do we have to lose? If we lose, we win by getting a higher draft pick. This is a win-win situation. Either you play these guys and they show you something, or you play them and you lose, and you're going to get a great draft pick next year. Argue with me on that one. I dare you because I will make you look stupid because you are already stupid. You guys don't know basketball. Not everybody, but the people I'm talking to, you know who I'm talking to. It's simple. It, what I just said makes sense. We're not trying to go for the playoff spot this year. We're trying to get a bad draft pick in order to do so. Play the young guys. Because the time you, you acquire two more of these good draft picks, Jeremy Grant's going to be older. You're going to have Sadiq Bey, Isaiah Stewart, Killian Hayes, and Saban Lee developed where they're going to be ready to take that next step in their career. And then you'll be going into the playoff spot where if you don't give Sekou and Servitas this time now to develop, by then they are off the team. And if they're off the team, you could have wasted that. They could have been one of these guys starting or being a great piece for you coming off the bench. So... You have to stay patient, but at the same time, now is the time to play these guys. We got two months left of the NBA season. What are we playing for? Absolutely nothing but a draft pick. Play the young guys. Play Sekou. Play Servitas, man. Simple and plain as that. And if not, Troy Weaver, man, you need to start looking at coaching candidates who are going to play the guys and play them just 10 minutes a game. I could find 10 minutes a game for these guys to play. It's ridiculous. And I thought, hey, at the trade deadline, a lot of these veterans will be gone. Then there'll be time. Nope, not the case. So, I don't know. Leave your guys' thoughts down below. Why do you think these guys aren't getting any minutes? And don't just tell me because they suck, because you don't know that. They haven't played that many games for you to say they suck. It's not like they're 10-year veterans. It's not like they've been in the league for a very long time. It's not like they've played multiple games. It's like who hasn't even played a full 82 yet. So leave your thoughts down below, man. Instagram, Twitter, DS members in the description. Check it all out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And that's the bottom line because Double D said so. Peace.